Hello everyone, you are welcome once again to Sabi Book. My name is Michael and today we're going to be talking about compression in the musical context and it's for week four of introduction to music production on courseera.org. So compression, what is compression? Here we have a plugin and this plugin we are going to be discussing using this plugin how we can compress music so that we can have a closed dynamic range so that is the the gap between the softest and the loudest part of the song so more like having a, an even volume throughout the song and that is the whole idea of compression so now Basically, we're going to be discussing, I'm going to describe all these knobs, um, maybe not all, but most important, the most important knobs for when it comes to compression. And then these lines here that, and what they mean, basically. First, with the green line, the green line shows the maximum level in the electronic audio where you don't want to exceed so that you do not have clipping. And clipping is a distortion and very awkward distortion for that matter. And you, you would, you don't want to listen to that because it doesn't make the song go smoothly and it makes it sound a bit, um, awkward. So that's why we have this limit, the green line and it's at zero decibel, full scale. And here we have the gain. So we can adjust the loudness of the song by adjusting this gain so that it does not exceed this green line. As you can see, it turns white the moment it gets there. So I want to keep it below the green line so that we can have smooth, a smooth, clear sound. Threshold. Threshold basically is where you set at what point you want the compression to start taking place. As you can see, the line here is moving up and down. And so you can determine at what point you want that threshold to take place. Ratio. Ratio is where, where you want uh, how much compression rather you want the the you want in the audio system so by one two to one three to one four to one depending if you look upper left part of the screen you will see this the 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 sign here it's changing and it can, you can tell uh by how much compression how much compression you really want in the audio and then we have attack and release time attack is how far how fast you want the compression and release time is how fast you want to let go of the compression and basically these ones are uh determined uh, by adjusting this knob as well but we're not going to be talking much about this so we're going to concentrate more on the threshold ratio and the gain so i'll play a piece of music i made up um, a freestyle kind of music and um, we will use that and demonstrate what this compression is all about. You say what? Let go. Love is a game that is hard to play. When you put all your best, when you get to the lead. The wind is love, bringing us together. So as we can see right here, we have noticed that uh, this line, which represents where we want uh, our where we want our music to be, the level, it's not exceeding the green line, so it's safe here, and then. If you notice again, we'll see that there is these lower curves, the one that are shaded that covers the lower shades. That's actually the output of the music we are playing. And if you notice, it all falls below this white line. So now applying compression, we are going to apply the gain knob to see how we can adjust this level quickly. As you notice, the gain level changes. So, that done. Next, we're going to show how we can apply the threshold. And the threshold is at what level we want the compression to take place. We're going to do that alongside the ratio, how much compression should take place. So, if you take note here, you will see that we raised our threshold 
above the original level we want the song to be. So that way there would not be any effect because the idea of the threshold is if the sound or the music crosses the threshold, whatever crosses the threshold will be brought down. And that's the idea of compression. But we have noticed here that we have not even included our ratio, so there is no effect. Then when we include our ratio, you will begin to see the effect take place. Now we're going to crank up our ratio. And then we can bring our threshold even lower. If you notice the volume as the volume of the song comes down, and that's because we have increased our ratio and therefore bringing the uh, affecting the dynamics of the, of the of the music. So basically, this is how compression works, and um, like I said, it helps you to balance up between the softest part of the song and the loudest part of the song. And um, yep. That's it for today and I hope you have learned one or two things from this lesson and see you again next time. Until then, enjoy. <laughs> Now when he's in, he's in Washington.